it is June 15th of Saturday and we are ready to go to 45th anniversary of my mother and father-in-law and we were gonna celebrate it with them and we are excited and we bought a card for them and we're gonna go on our way right now and we'll see you guys you we'll have a good take day some pictures along Oops, over there yet. if we get if we have get a chance yes just pictures or video or video if we get we'll a chance see, yeah. we'll see have a great day you have a great day guys I just thought that I, I'm half Filipino now, so now I make sure everybody eats. Just love this the way it is. So it happens at every Filipino party I go to, they get I get handed at least three plates before the dinner. Like <laughs> you need to eat something. How are you? I I will get there. I will eat something. Cool for real. <laughs> Making my way. That looks good, baby. Hey. Oh, yum yum yum. This beef is so good. You need to have some. This is this is Tracy's Go recipe from church. Oh, I, I have an idea. Like Tracy's barbecue beef recipe.
they are very special to our heart and uh, Ryan the, the youngest came for like a travel for how many hours three hours three hours three, yeah the all oh, three hours each way yeah three hours he, from, he's from Bath and he traveled three hours coming here and three hours again going home tonight so that's really um, a big thing family here in Canada also is really a big thing guys not only in Philippines people get together it's not always because of the job that is needed to be accomplished or we're always busy as I say because there's lots of bills to pay but unlike in Philippines there's lots of uh, bills to pay too but your mom and dad are you are just your neighbors and or or you're just close to your mom and dad and I just want to say that just celebrate if uh, if it's their birthday or if it's that birthday just always always make an occasion yeah make an occasion it doesn't really it doesn't really need to be a uh, occasion just just have a coffee with them right just have a coffee with them just have a a chit chat or talk to the phone because you cannot retur really return time guys like me right now like I'm in Canada and my mom and dad are in Philippines it's just hard for me to do everything for them so I tried uh, to to FaceTime them all the time if I'm not busy but most of the time I'm busy but I tried my best to to talk to them or to in touch with them I just want to say that uh, spend time with family guys is very important I'm so happy today I'm really happy I had a good family and uh, it's nice to chatting with them I'm just happy that I am with the family that it's very they are very very supportive and very very non-judgmental people I've been almost done almost 10 well, I better quit putting firewood on here then oh but it's okay it's beautiful okay I got the beautiful. Beef, we'll, burn, we'll burn this up and then we'll quit Look at our fireplace guys, cracking away, nice babe, ah oh, I just love it. <laughs> Hi lovely. It's beautiful. Just relaxing. Yep. You like sitting by the fire? Yes. Mm. I love it a lot. It's one of my favorite things. Me too. Sit around the fire. Just after work, it's always With nice. My baby. Yep. <laughs> after eh, working day, hard, yeah. even though I didn't work hard today. You know, went for a motorcycle ride. Came home, went to Eckville for a little bit, picked up some tools. Come home and snuggle with my baby. I miss my long hair. It's slowly getting longer, honey. Yeah. I should apply a coconut coconut oil on it. Blah, blah, blah. With avocado next time. Blah, blah. Stop. What does it mean? It means I was tired. I was yawning. Mm -hmm. It's 10 o'clock already. Or past 10. Yeah. It's 10 30 already. Oh, 10.30, look Why at that. Why did you tell me that? I was putting firewood on the fire. <laughs> I thought it was just 9.30 like that, babe. <laughs> because there's still light outside. Look at this, guys. It's going to be light for... If you see, you see, guys, it's 10.30 here in Canada, but there's still lights. We are having bonfire in our backyard. Look at that. There's 10.30 at night and there's still light in Canada <laughs> and my baby love is trying to relax trying to, you know, 
That's my chicken leg. Where your chicken leg? Oh, sexy legs. I wish I get your legs. No way. My chicken leg? You don't want my chicken leg. Yeah, then my lizard leg anyway. <laughs> yeah, right. And short yeah. leg. And dark legs. My legs is like a man's legs, baby. No, they're not. You get the, you get the sexy legs. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're gonna say good night to you and good night and mabuhai. <laughs> mabuhai. <laughs> That's your favorite uh, word Tagalog to Pretty say, much, hey? Yeah. Mabuhai. You know <laughs> why guys? It's because I remember that uh, he knows that word because the in the airplane yeah, going to the Philippines. Like Two hundred times in the airplane. It's in a Philippine oh. airline, hey? Yeah. It's like, Mabuhay! That's why you know that. I did not th uh, taught you that, right? It's just you heard it often. <laughs> what else? What the Galag words you know anyway so far? Oh, you can't do this to me on off the spur of the moment, honeybee. I will never remember. Even two or three. Two or three, maybe like... Uh... Well, everyone knows Salamat. Oh yeah, salamat. What else? And oh, honeybee. Oh, I should. You didn't give me any time to think about this. Oh. What else? Um, uh, the magandang umaga. The good morning. I taught you that. Or I, I know, but I never remember this stuff. I'm not. I guess we don't smart. use it. The guapo, it guapo. means yeah. handsome. Guapo. I don't know, because it seems that uh, we've been busy and I did not uh, really give attention to Daryl about like uh, teaching. To yeah, and teaching him English uh, Tagalog. He is really eager to learn Tagalog languages, and and he always suggested to me and to the white uh, people that married Filipina that. In our town, there should be a Tagalog lesson for those who married uh, to yeah, Filipinos. Yeah, Filipinos. But unfortunately, there is no lesson. Well, so we doing it. Yeah. So we 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 do we the wife so supposed to be will be the one like or response responsible to to teach them right, but but. I don't know. I just have but no patience no. to. <laughs> no. Yeah, and the thing. Sometimes he can get, he can understand my Tagalog if my friend and my friend and um, me and my friend yeah, sort of. are talking or we're talking, sort and then of. yeah, he can get piece by piece, you know, bit there, bit here. He can understand, but not all. And I didn't even teach him that, but. Maybe because of our gestures, you think? That's Maybe. why you can understand a little bit here. Um, yeah. yeah. And the good thing is he's really eager that he has... He he he, um, he did an apps to his uh, cell yeah, phone. phone. Yeah. Yeah, for a while to, but to I, learn. I got too busy with work and then I didn't... I forgot to do my word of the day. Yeah. <laughs> You know what? It looks our face is dark. Sorry, guys, if uh, our face faces are not really clear, it's because it's 10:30 here and we don't have any light except except, except the, the bonfire. Fire. Yeah. So it's a little bit dark out. Yeah. There. So it's a little bit like blurry as well. It's 10:30 here in Canada. But I'm happy though that you tried like uh, to learn Tagalog, baby. Mm. Because it it makes me like. You are interested to me, like you. Are, I know you are interested to me, but of what I'm trying I'm to say, to I know, you. I know. But what I'm trying to say is that you are, like, you make me as your priority, like, in your list too, right? Like, you want to know me more and more and more, like, and like, just speaking the Tagalog. If maybe we go, we go home in Philippines again, and and it's just nice that maybe you want to like converse with my family yeah. that's why you want to learn but you know what don't worry i am i am and i am ilonga so 
we don't speak the Galog at home. We speak our own. Uh, how to say that? That's not the tribe. Dialect. Yeah, dialect. That's the right uh, word to say. We speak our dialect and we don't speak uh, Tagalog. We speak only Tagalog if we talk to other pe other Filipinos that it's not my my it's not the same dialect as I used to to use in um, Philippines. Like they are from Luzon, I'm from Mindanao, and we have different language uh, dialects. But the main is Tagalog, which like all of us can understand because of this Tagalog uh, language. Like all people, we yeah. were, it's yeah, a national language. Yeah, na it's a national language in Philippines that everybody will understand each other because of that national language, which is awesome because there's lots of dialects in Philippines. Mm -hmm. I'm not exactly uh, know how how many languages but i'll tell you it's like a thousands thousands tribes thousands also of dialects guys so but i know some dialect though i can speak ilocano and i can also understand ilocano because my childhood in philippines are are ilocanos baby mm -hmm. and also i can also bisaya or or how to say the Bisaya? Um, Bisaya, like uh, let's say Bisaya, 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 Cebuano, or like the language of Bisayan, baby, Bisayan people. I can understand too because my dad is half, I am a half Ilonga and I am a half Bisaya. So, or half Bisayan because my dad is a pure Bisayan. So he don't use that language at home. We use Elonga, but I can just understand a bit, a bit and I can also sp speak a bit. And what else I know? Yeah, I guess three languages, three dialects. Plus one is the Tagalog, so four dialects I know. In English. Oh, in English, so five. Five guys. And I can, if I will study languages, maybe I can, let's say I can, like Spanish. I would like to study Spanish. My sister in States and Virginia, she is studying Spanish because there's more Mexican and Spanish, Spanish, is it? Yeah, Spanish. yeah right? Spanish people in uh, where she lives in Virginia. And she works in the hospitals. So that maybe that's why she wants to learn Spanish. But Spanish is close to our language too. Like baño, we have baño. Like you know, because we are influenced by Spanish people in old old years, guys. That's why like our food has some Spanish influence. Our food has. A Spanish influence, our religion has Spanish influence. Oh, my nose is itchy. Sorry, guys. And what else? And the way we talk, I guess, has Spanish influence. Our languages has Spanish influence. It's because we are, we are, uh, Span Spaniards are trying to invade our country. Did you hear about that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why. But they did not win. Ah, oh, it's just nice in the fire closer in the fire because it's getting colder too. It's getting cold. You're so serious, baby. So serious. I'm watching my YouTube. Yeah. I'm just relaxing before it's, I go to bed. It's for sure it's 11, uh, 10 45 right now. 10 37. Oh, 10 37, guys. My hubby just check it. And it's still beautiful outside. Look at that. And look at the bonfire. And before um I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give you the story about what happened to me today at work. There's really nothing happened to me at work that much. It's just I woke up this morning at at uh 6:30 and 
and then have coffee and with Daryl and, and after that go to work because I live in the country lie down in the shop it looks like a car baby I don't think so how come there's if there's no light in the shop there yeah there's a light in the lane too there in the side there yeah. oh yeah so we can attract more bats there's bats guys we saw bats in our place it's almost 11 here I can't believe we're still up ah it's my day off okay. tomorrow it's so not my day off tomorrow I have to go to work tomorrow yeah we should go, go in. yeah I just took the fire up so that it will burn down properly yeah almost was almost done though okay guys we're gonna say bye bye and good night and good night. I know they're all we're gonna say again what Ciao ciao. What else? <laughs> you know ciao ciao is an Italian word. It's like bye bye. So like Mabu Arve Vidurchi. What does it mean? I don't know. I'm pretty sure it means goodbye <laughs> in some other language. Ah, that's so funny. Okay. Bye bye guys. Good night. Mabu hi. <laughs> okay guys. Hope you have a wonderful night and uh hope that you're gonna sleep well tonight and don't forget to pray before you sleep and we're gonna pray for you guys whoever needs prayer just let us know and we'll pray for you Daryl and me Daryl and Lise Daryl and Lise <laughs> but I'm gonna say that whatever problem we're encountering right now remember that it's gonna pass just don't think of this night if you have problem tonight don't think of that problem tonight just let it go and think about tomorrow when the, when the sunshine came or better Come. yet don't think about it at all yes don't think about let god it think about it yeah let god think about it he made you anyway so <laughs> you can think all about it give all your worries to god guys and everything will be good okay even about families about whatever about anything in this world God is so powerful God is so great he will gonna solve your problem like like that that we don't even know why it's happening in our life okay